Welcome to another video of the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. This is our second showcase in the demonstration of characteristics shoot that we did recently. And this showcases the effect of the blast deflector. So actually, what is the benefit of having the blast deflector? So we had a gun firing without the blast deflector fitted and then one with, and it's the blast deflector and flash illuminator, the, se the, se the later type of, of the two. Um, and just a reminder that, you know, the, the safe use of small arms material uh, manual that we use to train everybody uh, for this day and for our future shoots is available to purchase so please do get a copy of that um, you know they're, they're there for, for, for people to benefit from and yeah so this demonstration a characteristic shoot following on from the rates of fire uh, shows just the effect that the blast deflector had you know how it can actually keep the gun clean and how it can keep your position you know quite hidden one 25 round burst to the figure 11 to your front your own time go on So there we go, that was the first burst without a blast deflector or flash laminator fitted. And we now go on to uh, firing the second burst, it's just an alternative view of that. You can see quite a bit of dust being thrown up. This is the second burst and you can see the blast deflector and flash eliminator is fitted on this gun. And here's another view, uh, just you know, less dust being created and then we can compare side by side. So arguably this, you know, this little bit of pressed metal does have quite the effect. Now for comparison with the Bren, we've yeah, moved it back on the firing point a little bit and replicating the same with just one magazine. Seems to be that the Bren does create a bit of dust, but much further forward. So less impact on the gun, you know, less sort of actually moving around the gun itself, but it still creates quite a signature, quite a visual signature that you would be able to give away the gun position. So there we go. Hope that was of interest for you. That's the characteristics of the muzzle attachment. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.